What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Head and we're going to do some reviews today. First one we're starting off with is the one that I said I was going to get but I completely forgot about it. And that was the Transformers Wreck and Rule collection. In particular the set that had Master Dominus and the G2 Universe Leadfoot. Um, sure we would have wanted Leadfoot to be maybe its own mold with the actual weapons that he came with. But they did a good job with this and we're going to break it down to a smaller amount. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on reviews. Uh, basically, I don't really have anything to compare uh, Master Dominus with, so we're just going to look over the figure and discuss what it can do and things like that. And then, of course, we'll do a comparison with the lead foot. So before we continue, as always, we'll look at the packaging. And this is the packaging that it comes in. Now, I do want to discuss that a lot of people are forgetting that this is still available on Amazon for about 40 bucks. Um, judging the price of two, you know, deluxe class figures, that's about right. Because by himself, he goes for about 40 bucks. Just him. Because everybody wants Leadfoot. Nobody wants Master Dominus. So, I would suggest before these go the wayside of, oh, I forgot to buy this and now it's worth $2 million. But I know some of you collectors are worried about your worth. If you want this set still and have not gotten it after this review, I would tell you to go get the set. All right. So, we're going to look at the packaging real quick. And it's the usual packaging, you know, cardboard box uh, from the Legacy line. Um... You know, here it is from the side. Here's a um, round of Miss Amanda, Amanda, and, and, you know, and then on the back, you got, uh, you know, 18 steps, 14 steps to transform. There's the way it splits into. Now, unfortunately, I don't do these things, so I'm probably not going to put it on anything. I don't get I, <laughs> This is actually going like in the boxes. I don't really have a lot of G2 figures uh, available, so, um, so it is what it is. But he'll probably be with my records crew, so he'll probably still be on the shelf. Him. I'll discuss why he won't be on the shelf, but it's not bad. I just have to explain a few things. And of course, here it is from the side and we're back to the front. The instructions in the boxes, I always keep. Anytime I get boxes like this, I try to keep them. They're pretty cool. All right, so we're going to start off first with the Master Dominus, who is a Mastodon. And the reason why I like him so much, and I'll explain, is basically he reminds me of the Mastodon from, you know, Power Rangers or... And, you know, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or Zoo Ranger. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got time to explain that. So, and the colors, well, you know, they're black and gold. Not so much that the original is black and gold, but um, there's a lot that's going on with this figure. Being that this is a remold of the figure from none other than the Raptonite that came out. And then it also got remolded into the Tricanius, which had all those pretty blast effects. And I can't, I did not pick up that figure again, because I got so much other stuff to pick up. So let's look at him. So basically, I love the coloration of this. I, even when I first saw it, and I'll link back to my review to let you guys know, because I know, you know, everyone's like, it's always hypercritical. No, I actually like this figure. I liked it from the start. I liked it when I saw it. I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. I don't know why, but I just do. And yeah, he's got like the red in him, like the, you know, like almost like he's, you know, alive, like he's rotting alive. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And now let's talk about the joints. So yes, the joints are loose. And that's because you're gonna, if you're pulling this apart a lot, you probably don't want it to be too tight, you know, especially over time. You know, you can always tighten it up with a little bit of something. But it's not like loose where it's like, you know, gonna fall apart. You know, it's not gonna fall out or anything. But it's there for the purpose of doing that. And then basically, you know, his he has the legs and you know, he can move them out to here, you know, the head moves, the jaw moves, and you know, you can you take the head off you want to take a look at it so basically you know it's like you know there's the face right there and you know moves in and out you can put a blast effect in there if you want on the touch do rotate uh you put it back on and basically you know he has it's kind of nice articulation i mean and especially in this mode i really do like it i've been this is one of the things i would play <laughs> like in between you know and i you know this is like a desk toy for me because it's just easy to hold apart and put together so uh we're gonna pause for the cause. Oh, guess what? We've got the 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 the, the ruler. The the, the the ruler. I can't. I probably can't say what I want to say because you know. I mean, all of a sudden, Slick Rick be like, "Hey, guy." But yeah, we got the ruler back, and so he is about a little over seven inches in length, maybe about seven and almost maybe seven and a half. And the tippy top height of him in the. Uh, Mastodon mode is about four inches high. So yeah, the ruler's back. We found him. 
But I don't know how long. <laughs> so we're going to pause for the cause, get him into the mode, compare with some other toys, and then we'll go on to lead foot. And of course, we'll always be back in two and two. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic, and we have Master Dominus in his robot mode, and we're going to go over articulation first. And so basically the arms are going to be loose, as we stated before, because of that. So the arms do do swing in 360. Now, because his arms are legs, he does have extra articulation, so he can kind of get some funky stuff going on. But this is basically a hand, you know, his, you know, his hand, his hand is, his hand is like that. So you could just say these are two guns or something, you know, like pew pew. And same thing with the left arm. It does that. Um, the head does do a 360. Yeah, it's a little bit of a ball joint action going on there. Um, you also can put the helmet down, you know, give him that, like, you know, ninja look. You know, I, I just, it kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what's the set? Anyway, I can't think of the name right now, so forgive me, but that, where the head kind of looks like that. Um, the legs are short, but he does have the, the usual, you know, the bend that goes this way. So that way he's doing the bend, and of course he can do that. And I do believe because of the sake of pulling apart, he can John Claude Van Damme. Now, the cool feature is, of course, he can, you know, Take itself apart and if you don't like the way that he looks uh short you can make him taller a little bit and if you want you just basically take these parts out and this is what i did with mine now before we do that um basically and we're going to do the height comparison this comes off and this is the claw weapon and basically it can go on the, any hand and basically what you do is just turn the tusk this way and then turn him this way and he's got wolverine you know what I'm saying? And basically you put it in the side peg like that. And he's, you know, yeah, you know, it's, I like him, but we're going to show what I've been doing with him. Um, you know, but he doesn't really stand up that well when you do it, but there you go. And so basically let me get the ruler and the ruler says he is approximately about five inches right on the money. Um, so that puts him in line pretty much with all of the other deluxes out there we'll just pull a few deluxes out of the woodwork here my little blue squad and of course i've never reviewed him yet but i might review him those you know what i'm saying um and of course there's pipes so yeah you can see he's the standard size but if you want to give him some height this is what i have been doing um basically you can just take these off and you can put these on as legs and I put them on this way and you put one there and put another one here and so I mean I think you want to do it this way I'm not sure but the bend you know you always want the bend to go like that so I'm not sure which way you want to do it but you can and then basically what you want to do is just put the legs on um and i think i was doing it the other way but if you want to give him more height so that he's like a voyager you can do this and i think this is a better actually i like that better but he does have a little bit of a stability issue but i actually like that look better and that would put him now at about six inches so this puts him in the voyager territory so yeah, you could do a lot with this figure. I know you could put him on, you know, make weapons out of him, but I, I just, I like him, man. I think he's pretty cool. And I think that if you get the set, you'll have wonderful possibilities. And now you can, you know, give him more height. And I think he looks better like that. Although the legs are a little long, I just think he looks better like that. Kind of Marmy Saru a little bit. <laughs> but I like, I like him like that. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. I'm not really into these things, but I'm kind of like enjoying these. So yeah man i'm definitely gonna get that all right so we're gonna pause for the cause be back in two and two and we're gonna do the left foot portion of the video all right we're back by youtube magic we now have the g2 lead foot universe lead foot in his vehicle mode and basically he is a repaint of the kingdom mirage which came in the two pack with the grimlock i believe uh yeah the grimlock so yeah with the uh beast wars grimlock and basically He's now painted in this uh, kind of royal blue with black. They even painted inside of the cockpit. It's this nice yellow. I mean, the paint apps on here are exquisite. You might see a little bit of silver because I added silver to that yellow. I still got to finish doing that. So it kind of blends in. Um, but we will show this off against the original Mirage, which mine has also been a little customized as well. 
Uh, but basically, he's got the 93 on there, 93 on here, and the 93 on here. And I think that's pretty cool. The weapons are the same. Of course, they don't attach to the back. And that's kind of good for him because they didn't, I mean, attach on the shoulder, I should say. But they attach on the back, which is good for him because he didn't have that type of shoulder weapon. He just had, like, the propeller weapon. But uh, they didn't do that. They just took the original Mirage gun and painted it black and painted this black and gave us a blue missile. I do believe they're blast config last effect compatible so we're gonna bring in kingdom mirage here and now you'll notice my kingdom mirage has slightly different weapons because these are i believe non-nev weapons um so it can attach or make it look like it is attached to this chest but we're gonna take it off so we can show off the differences now i'm gonna, I'm gonna point out what i've done with my mirage so basically with my mirage i did paint the this is the knee portion i did paint that white and of course, with this, I did chrome it out and it gave it that more of an old school look. So he does look a little bit different. But and of course, he has the wheel covers, but he's still basically the same. Uh, you know, minus those upgrades and things like that. For some reason, it's a little hard to transform him and it is him. But that's neither here nor there. So basically, we'll show them off. And you can see the differences. It's just the coloration. There's no difference until we get to robot mode. Oh, uh, you can see that there. And of course, you can see here from the sides, they're pretty much identical, except for colors. Um, I wish they had painted inside of him, but they didn't. He got a lot more paint than him. I can tell you that now. Um, but I like both of them. And the fact that he has such a drastically different paint job, he is able to kind of not look exactly like him, but it's still the same mode. But mold but like i said you know i do my own little alterations to my figure so and we'll see it again in robot mode and all right we're just going to set those down and then after that we're going to get these both guys transformed and compare them and then do some height oh let's do the measurements before we go real quick uh, let me get the ruler so we can get the comparisons all right and he is approximately five inches in vehicle mode all right, so we're going to go ahead and get them transformed. Of course, we'll be back into two and two. All right, we have Leadfoot in his robot mode. And so we're going to go ahead and do the height measurement right now. He is five inches, the same size as uh, Mirage. Um, let's look at the figure itself. Like I said, we did look at the guns, but he did not see him in robot mode. Now you can see more of the blue here. It's very nice. You see now he has the g2 autobot symbol actually it's the wrecker symbol more or less uh, which is pretty cool um the head sculpt has been changed and it looks nice i mean the coloration everything that was done here is on point same articulation as mirage if you want to look at his articulation i will point back to the video um everything's the same uh but the head's got nice paint on it it's really painted i mean it it really looks good <laughs> so Put in some size comparisons here. Um, let's bring in some of the wreckers. And you know, the odd thing about it is most of the wreckers are deluxes, but go ahead and bring them in, you know. And of course, we got on deck, we got Twin Twist. <laughs> going, in, going into the archives here that I have Twin Twist. And then, of course, we got the Decepticon Impactor because I just love the head sculpt. He's pretty tall for a deluxe, too. And, of course, we have Topspin, because, you know, I got to be that guy to be like, yeah, I still got the bar, you know what I'm <laughs> So we got a group shot of some records all together. Yes, I know he's got the separate concept, but, you know, you done it right. You should have got the G2 versions. Nope, I didn't want the G2 version. I have the G1 versions. Yes, man. I, boy, these were lucky, because I found both of these in the store. <laughs> It's crazy, right? So there they go. And um, yeah, man, they look, man, <laughs> they look good together. Hold on, let me, let me get a little bit more of an angle here because I might be using some of these as thumbnails and stuff. You know, hold on, let me get, get a little centered here. Get that centered and it's camera centered. And yeah, oh yeah, they look good. And then we'll go ahead and move them out of the way. I already reviewed the, 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 the it's, I, I always like these toys, man. They're the most fun toys to play with from Titans Return Period. And this is still my favorite Impactor. I love the head scope. And then finally, I'm gonna show them off against my custom Mirage. 
And as you can see here, my Mirage has a shoulder cannon, of course, look. And you can pivot it. And you can get it to fit on the shoulder um, from the back here. So it's like a little operation here that you can kind of get going on. You got to make sure it's square because sometimes it'll do that. And so, yeah, it gives them that, you know, original look from G1. Um, and of course here. So the difference is here and you can see how they look together. Um, but they look fantastic, man. Yeah. And like I said, I'll link to the Mirage video. But yeah, by having in my configuration for Mirage like this, I'm okay with them just having the two guns. You know what I'm saying? It'd be cool if a third party person made like a propeller, little propeller instead of using a missile that you could stick in there. And I would have that might even make it cool. And I, Hasbro should have done something like that. But that would have been cool to do. But of course they didn't. And that, that takes care of everything. And so we'll go ahead and move him out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and bring in Master Dominus. And then we'll wrap this up. And I'm leaving him at this height because he's going to be this height. Um, fantastic set. Um, especially getting the Master Dominus because of the fact of what he can do. Um, the great choice of repaints and remolds. Like I said, these are a lot of fun to play with and things like that. You know, you can, you know, do these things. And I'm just going to kind of get a, you know, summed up picture for the thumb, the main thumbnail here. And I kind of like him with the shoulder. I kind of like him like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, as I said, he had to propel it. That would have been nice. And then, of course, Master Dominus, man. Yeah, this this is a cool set. Um, now, again, the... Uh, uh, Lead Foot by himself goes for as much... That's 50 bucks. Now again, I'm not the value person. I don't go into all that. I don't buy my toys to resale. I'm not one of those people. I'm a real collector, okay? I don't want to hear about, well, this guy said everybody buys toys. I don't care what he says, okay? I care what I think because I'm a man. Now, when I got this set, I wanted the set. And like I said before, stupid me just forgot. And then I was looking on eBay, not thinking that this would still be on um, Amazon and I was like, whoa, 40 bucks. Because I was just looking on Amazon to see if anybody was selling it. I expected to pay 50 bucks, but nah, I got it. Boom, there it was, man. So yeah, fantastic set. Pick this set up if you are into this set. If you're not, then don't pick it up. So what are your thoughts? You can always leave them down in the comments below. This review is done. We'll be on to the next. It's Super Robot Ed bringing more news and reviews. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.